Hello, Acron fans! Welcome to another Exhibition Match cast set. This time we're going to start off with something different. We're going to be starting off with an experimental game. Now, some of you may remember the EXP mod that exists, that we do a lot of experimental balance changes on. It hasn't really come up much recently, but one of the new members of our community decided to try out some experimental changes. Rymark, actually, is one of the people playing. We're seeing God right now, but Rymark is over in the bottom left corner. This is on Hills, by the way, it's the older version of Hills, because I haven't gotten updated the maps for EXP yet. But, Rymark's big change is every race starts with an RP, and user processors are also about five times as expensive as they are in the main game, but as you can see, harvest very quickly. The idea basically being to prevent players from having to focus heavily on, on RPs, and just have their base built up right away. I'm not sure I totally agree with the idea, but I do want to showcase how a game, an example of how it works. Just because I do think it's an interesting idea, and it's worth, <coughs> sorry, it's worth experimenting with these things, because we've been experimenting with the economy for a little bit, we found something that sort of works with the 80 LCRPs that do like 8 LC every 12 seconds, I think, but that's one thing. I mean, there's possibly other ways of doing it, possibly other better economic models we could use. So. It's worth testing, and I just want to show off how it works. So anyway, Rymark getting up his two importers and factory, very quickly setting up his military. This is, this is the main reason for the change, was that because RPs are so expensive, you can't really focus on building RPs with all your opening cash, so you end up focusing on building military units instead. The downside, of course, being that you need to invest a huge amount of money in order to get another resource processor, which means you have to worry about the changing over, but it's not too big of a deal. I just I'm concerned it might lead to having to encouraging this sort of small one base paradigm that's been kind of dominant ever since the economic changes that have been made. Anyway, God just getting his Teth and scouting out Rymark will be seen, everyone knows what he's doing, and Rymark actually getting very quick Lancers. Not something we see very often. Lancers are an uncommon unit as far as CISO military is concerned. Normally, players will go with ATHCs first, not Lancers, just because Lancers. Well, Lancers are actually fairly strong, but the thing is, they are not... They're not that tough, and ATHCs just turn out to be a lot more effective in a lot of ways for their cost. Also, large reason being, Lancers cost a lot of Q-Plasma, and I think with this RP setup, it actually may be advantageous just because you don't have to build a lot of RPs, you're not going to be able to easily build a lot of RPs, but with 80 LC RPs, we actually can afford RPs gradually, and building them up, that it's more encouraged to get a lot of liquid crystal and then you use some of the spare liquid crystal to build military units. And in that case, ATCs make more sense, but since the RPs are basically not a concern, building a lot of Lancers is not a bad idea. Anyway, two Zion Pulsers coming in, they should be quickly dispatched by the Lancers, though they are taking care of a lot of the infantry in the meantime, and God also at the 51 minute, sorry, 51 second mark, not minute mark, that's I don't think we'll get that far in this game. 51 second mark, he is... I was double checking his production. While Rymark also double checking what's going on there, but nothing really is changing. All he needs to do, however, is just send those Lancers forward. Once he does that, he'll be fine. These Lancers, that is. Because these Lancers here, they're... They should be fine. They should be doing well, but... Two of them are being sent to fight off the Zion Pulsers. Ah, here we go. All three of them are going to fight off the Zion Pulsers, spending them all off. He has still lost all the imagery at this point, so he needs to jump about a minute and a half back in order to be able to save all that. It's about here that the infantry assault occurred. But he is able to take care of the Zion Pulses anyway further in the future. God, however, being that he is five minutes down or four minutes or so down from Rymark, getting a Teth Pulser instead of a Zion Pulser, very good idea. So this will be much more effective at dealing with the, the Lancers coming up. And I'm not sure what Rymark's going to be able to do from here. I think with four Lancers he should still be okay, but this is a good change by God. He's I'm not sure he's building up more from this, or if he's going to be using this to cover building another RP. Further in the future, he does have the resources to do so, but... Now we'll actually see the fight going on between the Teth Pulsar and the Lancers, which should be a lot more interesting. Although, of course, being that this is a Teth Pulsar and not a Zion Pulsar, the infantry may have an easier time dealing with it. And here they go, so the infantry are starting to attack it, and the Teth Pulsar barely lasts a few shots! Going down before you're able to deal any damage whatsoever. God's going to be a lot more careful with that. I don't think he's going to be able to push that too far in. But no, he is 
letting it go into the base. This is very unusual. Rymark is 10 seconds down from there. He has not changed the strategy much at all, just building more infantry, building a few more lancers, but otherwise not changing anything of the strategy. This Teth Balser, however, I'm sure God's going to be moving it differently. No, he is not. He is continuing to move it forward. I'm not sure why he's doing this. Attacking with the importers, but the infantry coming in are going to be able to take care of this in no time. This land... The, ah, here. Now, teleporting it in. So, teleporting the Teth Balser is a better idea, but even then... It... It doesn't seem to be doing especially well. Of course, I'm not actually seeing it having teleported at this point, but God... He is using the skip teleport for it, which is good. So attacking from behind, hitting the Lancer, and even with that, the, only distracting one of the Lancers, the other Lancer able to take care of the... or able to help take care of the Zion Pulsar. So this Zion Pulsar going down in a hurry, while the Teth Pulsar runs away, so God not able to have any meaningful assault going into the CISO base. Rymark actually pulling off rather well and making something of a case for this resource processor setup, being that... Well, there's some suspicion of CISO not being super strong. I also kind of disagree with that. I think CISO just hasn't been played very much recently, so it's hard to really say. But we have... There have been some people analyzing it, thinking that CISO is possibly weaker just because they don't have a lot of early military as much as the other races. I would have I would have to see replays of that. I'm really not sure. But in this case, with this particular resource setup, it's pretty clear that there is a lot going for CISO right now, or at least enough going for CISO that they can defend themselves early on. So, God, however, building up, he has a sign, Torture, and I'm not sure what he's going to do from there with... He's going to be getting more Teth Pulsars, or he's going to try to get another resource processor, and that would be kind of risky. But he might be trying to do that. He is teleporting in his Teth Pulsar. Or he was planning to, but he moved that back. So, right now, God in a bit of a backfoot situation right now. I'm not seeing him do much from here. I'm a bit surprised Rymark hasn't pushed these Lancers forward to attack, though. Actually, he, he is building more units. He does have... Or... Maybe not, actually. God, see, God reviewing his attacking and playable pass, but he can't really do anything with this. I'm not sure what exactly he is planning on doing. He's clearly moving forward... No, this is still unplayable pass. Rymark, however, clearly has an attack coming at him fairly soon. He's also checking this. I think he's suspecting that God may have Torn recording, but neither player has Gate Tech at all, and neither player could really afford it at this point. One resource processor, even with these extremely powerful resource processors, isn't enough to afford that. And it looks like, yeah, both players are probably just saving up for another resource processor. There is a Zion Torture attack, however, it is coming in. It is actually dealing quite a bit of damage. The Special Ops able to see it and fight it, but not for very long. However, Rymark deciding just to go for a counterattack with the Lancers instead of worrying about his main base. And that's the best idea at this point. But where's the Teth... Ah, here's the Teth Pulsar. So Teth Pulsar, God has the South Ridge not really doing too much here. But with sp soft spotting, the Lancer's able to get rid of the Zion Turcher. So Rymark able to defend him against this very effectively. And... Even with God trying to teleport it around to get it out of the way, it's still not enough. And it's going to go down. So that Zion Turcher... Oh, I think that Zion Treasure just barely escaped. Yes, that Zion Treasure barely escaped. But it did escape. So that is... That's still something. However, like I said, I'm expecting very soon to see another resource processor come up. And here we are. That's exactly what the players are doing. Saving up for that next resource processor. And Lancer attack. Lancer assault coming in. Perfect timing, too. Right as the resource processor is being built. And Rymark also about to build his own, but... These Lancers will be able to cover that very nicely. So these Lancers coming in, God trying to change his tactics over building some Teth Pulsers, but not quite fast enough, it, it would seem. Now these Lancers are doing quite a bit of damage. However, one Teth Pulser coming up and actually getting rid of one of the Lancers, but still, this way, Rymark can build up a. Or, well, if he, once he gets around to it, he can build up a resource processor and he's covering that very nicely, although. A counterattack could be mounted by God, because God actually managed to get rid of all these Lancers very effectively. But even with that, he did lose a few infantry, he did lose that timing on his RP. However, he could still build another resource processor if he wants to. He didn't spend enough money to jeopardize that plan. He does, however, still need to build a Zion Veer. He lost a Zion Veer he'd used, so that is the next thing he's going to do. 
Rymark, on the other hand, has apparently undone this entire attack, moving back his Lancers and avoiding having them be destroyed. Wise move, though God will still have the forces he needs to get rid of that Lancer. And Rymark's not getting another RP, I'm not sure why. He might not realize he has the money for it, but he's not spending it, and I, I'm a little bit suspicious on that one. Now, God, on the other hand, is getting that RP for sure this time. So he definitely has that. Getting Skip Teleport, another one of his Teth Balsers, so all of his units will be able to teleport fairly soon. And I expect him to mount a counterattack, because he really could... Well, he might be able to pull it off. These infantry here are kind of scary. I know it sounds weird, but if he is teleporting too far in, they will just tear him apart. This is going to be rather tricky to deal with that. And I'm not... I... Why are they trying to go into tanks? That's bizarre. I, he might be trying to build an RP and then hitting the wrong button or getting the wrong action, but... Ah, uh, yeah, it appears to be exactly what he's doing. Of course, if the chat logs are anything to believe. That's... Oh, I see, yeah, he's trying to build a real processor, but he's not hitting the right hotkeys first. Because the default hotkeys use B and then R to build a resource processor. Whereas R is just, as you can says here, it's because tanks can hold infantry and they have infantry have a nice button, or I should say, CISO infantry can be put inside tanks. But yeah, if you don't have a tank, it doesn't really help out very much. Incidentally, I have personally changed my hotkeys so that build is on R and the resource processor itself is on Z. So it does help avoid that problem for me. And in case you're wanting my undo is B. But in the default case, yeah, that that might be worth considering. As a possible change to the defaults. Anyway, God getting up a third RP, so both players are now focusing heavily on economy and trying to build up from there. Rymark, however, just getting his QPRP built up. This is at the 940 mark, God is at the 1140 mark, so both players are really just waiting around trying to get enough money to be able to build anything useful. And this is the reason why I wasn't too convinced of this particular economic setup, because you're... I mean, I get the point was kind of trying to make it so that players had to either choose military or economy, but the problem is that if you're choosing military or economy and not just a balance of both, but you have to very strictly choose one or the other, then it creates these boring lulls in the game where you're just going for pure economy or just going for pure military. I mean, going for pure military is fine, but going for pure economy just becomes boring. And as you can see, Rymark, having folks a bit more military, was in fact a better strategy, and he's able to tear apart God's forces of God, likely to avoid that conflict in the first place. Just gonna undo him, I'm sure. No, he's... Is he trying to cloak first and then attack? No, he's still going for it! He is not undoing this, he is going to continue in here, and that's gonna be suicide. Going for the back side of the base, trying to... Well, trying to attack through this back door here, but I don't think that's gonna work. There's too many infantry, too many special ops for detection, and not much to really deal with them. So, God has not really managed to get his economy to pay itself off yet, and Rymark, he could still build another RP at this point. He could actually build quite a bit of tech at this point. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't gone for that. Granted, he's doing quite well with just infantry and lancers, so maybe that's why. He just doesn't need to. But yeah, at this point, I'd say it's... Rymark's doing very well for himself with this economy setup, but I mean, we did have that five minute lull where nothing happened, and that's not the sort of thing you'd want to see. And anyway, God still not building anything here, he's still waiting for this RP to start paying, getting cash, trying to get QP, and actually, no, oh, nice clever move there, move, force the infantry out of the way before teleporting into the base. Still, the Lancer does stop them, but they are able to deal enough damage move the infantry out of the way. God can actually have continued that attack quite well. I'm a bit surprised he didn't go for it. And that's... No, he's he's just retreating. He's maybe healing up. He's healing up a couple of his units, but he's not really taking advantage of that timing. He had himself nicely set up since the infantry were just out of the way. But Reimer's gone and moved them back into the base, so they're right in a nice defensive position once again. So God's entire maneuver kind of pointless. Though he didn't, he did kill some Lancers, he didn't lose any units of his own, so overall that does work, but still a little bit bizarre with that one. I don't understand exactly what his motivation was there. Anyway, God is setting himself up, double checking, I guess, to see, make sure that 
Ramark has not expanded, but no he has not, because in this setup there's not a whole lot of reason to expand. I mean, okay, there is running out of resources, but other than that, there's really no reason to expand. And once again, Gal going for another attack, but like I said, he is not in the best position. The forces, Grammar Symmetry, are in position to deal with everything here. And moving up, starting to deal some damage. It should be pretty quick. I mean, two of them, obviously, ones in the front line are dying very quickly, and the special offs in the back are healing quite a lot. But they're still able to take care of one of the Teth Balsers. The other Teth Balser is still in the back, but they're dealing quite a bit of damage. Actually, the infantry getting rid of both Teth Balsers, and the Lancers now can come in and just tear this whole thing apart. And there they go. Or, no, they don't. Primark looked like he was going for those Lancers, but yes, he is. He is, in fact, going for those Lancers. Going a bit further back, and the Lancers are dealing some damage. Should be able to get rid of both of these Zion Churchers. Another Lancer coming up from the back, but one of the importers having gone down. So Rymark having gonna have a slightly slower time building up forces. However, he only had the importer, uh, sorry, the factory and the armory, so he's not losing that much production capacity compared to what he had already. However, this this Zion Churcher is still gonna be a thorn in his side. He does not have a special ops or an ATHC to detect it, and this is one of the reasons ATHCs are also very popular is because they are detectors as well as being quite powerful and quite quick. So right now that's exactly what he could use. And never mind though, the Zion Church are running out of energy and God losing that too. So Reimark successfully defending his base, God has committed to this. He, The attack actually has fallen into the unplayable past. God needs to... He's building up a ton more Zion Churchers using all of his money for that. Looked like he was building up a foundation as well and this, there it is. Foundation probably to build up into an aerial control center. And one of the importers having been destroyed, actually, Rymark from his point of view, this is where it's really important, but it looks like God is just taking out everything, at least the really important key structures, but ultimately only getting rid of one importer. At the 14 minute mark, we see that Rymark has successfully defended God getting rid of only one of the importers. Powerful, but not completely debilitating. However, five Zion Churchers coming in now, and Rymark not really taking advantage of his tech that he has purchased. And his lances, of course, are more powerful, but he still doesn't take advantage of the fact that he can build, well, like, build almost anything at this point. He's staying with lances. I don't know why he's not going for tornadoes or possibly tanks, or a bunch of ATHCs against the Zion Churchers. That would really help. But no, he is sticking completely with Lancers and Special Ops. I mean, at this point I would suggest that God just gets an aerial control center and goes straight for a Shin Turcher Teth Turcher mix. But even the Zion Turchers on their own, enough of them should probably work. Although they are running out of, he, God's out of power, so he's not going to be able to get his teleportation energy being built up. This foundation isn't enough, he should build another one or get the power upgrade. But he's doing neither, so he's his energy will not regenerate, his teleport energy will not regenerate. However, we're able to get rid of two of the Lancers. There we go, two of the Lancers. Rymark, further in the past, will be building up another factory, getting another importer up as well, and getting himself gate tech. So I expect a mech to come up soon, and then we'll be able to see how that works out. Probably getting a teleporter, maybe a chronoporter. But on the other hand, God is further ahead and dealing quite a bit of damage. I mean, Rymark needs to be able to defend against this, because this is what's going to be hitting him in about a minute. And this is where the attack starts, about a minute down from there. The Lancer coming in, getting destroyed very quickly, another Lancer further in the back, and the Special Ops... The Lancer's really getting destroyed because they can't see what's going on. So, Rymark is pulling them back so they don't get killed by the Zion Churchers as they approach. And this factor here should be a very nice buffer as well. It's a fair amount of health, but even then it's not that great of a buffer. It is building up, so it's still healing up. And the Lancer's coming in here. The Marines to help out, but Special Ops not coming in, and... No, the Special Ops are too far back, not able to detect. These Zion Churchers are just gonna win it for God. And that's pretty much the game, right there. So yeah, that's about it. These Lancers going down in a hurry. And a Tornado, finally! So getting something other than Lancers, but this Tornado is too little too late. I mean, it is also a detector, so on its own, it is very powerful. One of the reasons I suggested getting it. But, yeah, Zion Churches are pretty much a generalist unit. They're not great against air, 
but they aren't incapable of dealing with air. I don't know why my tooltips aren't on. But anyway, they are not incapable of dealing with air, so God winning the game, Rymark surrendering, and that was a very interesting showcase of Rymark's experimental mod. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that and learned something about a possible different way of handling Acron economy. Not one, like I said, I personally agree with, but certainly one worth testing. So I'll be back shortly with another cast. Just stay tuned.